Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to talk about uh, Jorge Martin's crash that he suffered uh, pretty recently at the Free Practice 3 at Portima. And uh, through the crash, we are also going to look at some of the data that has come forward and we are going to have a look at the injuries that he has sustained. Also guys, through this video, I want to show you guys how much a MotoGP rider is subjected through when he actually crashes. This is a really risky job that they are doing for our entertainment and uh, if things go wrong they do go seriously wrong these guys are actually putting their life on the line for us because we as spectators want the entertainment so I just, I, through this video i just want you guys to actually know how much a MotoGP rider actually puts his life on the line every time he steps onto the bike to race Hi guys, with a further delay, let's get right into this video. Jorge Martin had an absolute horrific crash in free practice 3 at Portima, which made him sustain quite a lot of injuries and uh, it was a really sad sight to see. Before we actually get further into the video, I want you two guys to see the clip of the crash. So here's the clip. I ride it. Oh. Oh. Cheer me, mate. Didn't see a pair of their rider. Oh. Oh. Cheer me, mate. Fingers crossed, yeah. Oh. Jorge Martin. Marquez has not been in Q2. This is not a good sign. No. The wind has been taken out of him here. Jorge Martin, and hopefully it's nothing more than that. But he's waiting for a red flag to go. So guys, from this clip, it is evident that uh, Martin uh, did have a lot of uh, tumbles when he went down. He did tumble a few times and the bike did continue to go a further distance. Once uh, the bike settled and uh, Jorge Martin was still lying down on the floor, the stewards did come to help him, but he was in such a lot of pain and agony that Martin was still lying down on the ground. And uh, it was evident from this that he did sustain some major injuries. Later on, the red flag was actually given to the session and uh, Jorge Martin was taken from the ambulance for further checks into the medical center. The data from Alpine Stars actually reveals how much the severity of this crash was. Jorge Martin did suffer three major injuries in this crash and this crash lasted for a total of 5.2 seconds since the time his airbag deployed. Alpine Stars has also given a data in which it is shown that Martin was subjected to uh, up to 20 G's of uh, force which is a lot of force to be subjected for any human being during this crash and the peak that was hit by him was around 26 G which in my opinion or in anyone's opinion is a lot is a lot of force to be put through a human body and that is what Jorge Martin actually went through. So guys after this let's talk about the injuries that Martin has sustained. Uh, Martin has had uh, several fractures to the scaphoid and the first metacarpal of the right hand and the right ankle were uh, and the fractures to the right ankle all these they were surgically reduced right wrist and left hand had fractures which were reduced as well and there was a fracture to the left tibial plate and it was reduced by an arthroscopy so these are the surgeries and the uh, stuff that had stuff that had to be done to him in the hospital after which he has started his recovery right now so guys, Jorge Martin will be out of action from MotoGP for at least the next two weeks, and uh, we are expected that he would. Uh, we are expecting that he would return at Mugello, and uh, I'm hoping him a speedy recovery, and I hope that he comes back soon and he's back to entertaining us because he was simply awesome on the Pramac Ducati. He is a rookie this season, but let's not forget what he did at the Los Angeles International Circuit in the second round when he did stand on the podium in just his second race in MotoGP, and he's a big, big addition to the Pramac Ducati. Team. Pramak Ducati did have a horrible Portimao GP because Martin did not take part in the race obviously because of the crash and Zarco crashed out in the race as well so that means that Pramak Ducati is kind of crippled without him. So guys uh, that is all for this video. I just wanted to share the data and I wanted to tell you guys as to how much a MotoGP rider is subjected and how, how much of the risk that he has to go through when he actually gets onto the bike. So and the injuries that a rider can sustain just because of one crash. This will actually give you an idea as to how much it is to how much it takes to actually uh, put the muster all the confidence and step onto the bike and actually do something that entertains the entire crowd. So guys, uh, that was all for this video. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to hit the like button. If you dislike what you saw, hit the dislike button twice. Also guys, while you're here, please subscribe to the channel. It motivates me to make more videos, uh, more such videos and more other MotoGP content videos as well. So they will be coming. So do not forget to subscribe to the channel. And with that, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.